Christianity without power is confrontanity with drama. There are churches, people come there, just take sand. Somebody sent me a video about two weeks ago. And I told him I was going to rebuke him publicly. So I'm not saying this. One of the things about ministry ethics is you must keep secret. But your father tells you that he's going to say it publicly. It's no more a secret. I said that others can learn. He sent me a video. And I said, somebody came. They saw somebody at night taking sand from around the church and they were filming him and he sent it to me said, I just want you to pray as I was doing he said security I said fire them send them somebody was taking sand around the church and they were looking at him and he took the sand and left and they, and they sent you video One time they were robbing around every church in this town. Not just that, Edo North, the northern part. This is the northern part of the state. They were robbing. I will come and I said, hey, some, this pastor will come to me. I will come. This one will call me. I will come. That. Up to people rob and they went as far as robbing the Jehovah Witness. What kind of thief is that? What kind of thief without agenda? Very unprincipled thief. And I stood on the altar. I said, don't close our door. If they burn you well, enter here. I was making that boast. And one guy said, hey, okay. And the guy came. We don't have it here. Okay, these are conditioners. You know that big fan? That industrial fan? He came there trying to steal the fan. And was there from 25. Held the fan from 25. Trying to pull fan. His legs were shaking, hand was shaking. The, his hand was glued to the fan. His legs glued to the ground. They met him there. And the people were rejoicing. Papa, we found him. God arrested him. God arrested him. Can we release him? I said to him, yeah. God has done his own. There are the young men that carried Ananias and Zafira. I told the youth, I said, police, I said, leave this one, which police? Why, where are the youth? So I said, take him somewhere. The only thing I guarantee you, don't kill him. Every other thing do to him. But don't kill him. Don't kill him. That's what we are told. Thou shalt not kill. Any other thing? Minister to him. Minister to him. Give him five-fold ministry. We had, some of us don't know how, you know, some of our pastors here don't know how the church in Esan, how we broke through Esan district. I was, I sent people to go and check for the place for us to do crusade. A young tout in the town, they tell apostle that for him to come here, he must first deal with me. And I said, what are we waiting for? We are praying against strong man. One has identified himself. Invade the place. And they invaded the place. And they said, you said, they said, yeah. They just carried the put in the boot. <laughs> Straight and just drove off. Took him to a place and sat him to ask him questions. They said, you have been doing this. It was so bad that even the authorities fear him. When you report to the police, they are worried. We said, don't worry. We know how to handle this kind of people. We are helping the government. <laughs> When they finished with him, they gave him suit. In the crusade, he sat in front. And I was minister. I took off the mic. I said, I like you. You joined protocol? He said, yes, sir. It's okay. So he was in our protocol all throughout the program. He has gone abroad now. He left with very normal. Very normal. Very normal. Now, 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 listen to me. Listen to me. We are in a generation when there are said, do you know in the midst of the rascality in the north, there are some churches that can't be touched. Those of you from the north know what I'm talking about. There are some churches that cannot be touched. We are in a generation where the nomenclature has changed. Yeah, it has changed. We are in a rascally generation. You can't be too gentle and settled. 
by na- you need some level of madness. I'm being honest to you. To survive this wickedness. And they, 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 they did that to them. I wounded him. And, and they departed. So do you know there's nothing as painful as impunity? You do it and you are telling people what can you do? Do it and departed. Messed him up and departed. There are some of you, one of the things you are praying for and your heart is bleeding is that there are certain things people have done against your ministry and you are seeing them still thrive. Nothing has happened to them. Your heart is boiling. That these people can do this thing and just walk away like that. And when one person does it and walks away, another person will do it and walk away. And they departed. There are people that have done things to their mandate, to their assignment. Nothing has happened to them. So others see it as endorsement. Nothing has happened. So then another person comes. Another person comes. Tre- check every treasurer who steals. They had a predecessor who was a thief. So even if they come clean, that one says, are you going to be like that? Are you gonna? So they had a mentor. Who mentors them on how to steal? Because they stole and nothing happened. So you took them out. And the next person who came came with all honesty. They said, hey, don't, don't try it. Uh, this is your opportunity. So that one becomes a thief again. In Matthew chapter 13, verse 25. Speaking about why men slept. He said, an enemy came and sowed tears among the wheat and went his way. Can I make a declaration? Anyone who has hurt you and they feel nothing will happen. They have caused your ministry pain. They have wounded you and they say nothing can happen. They have caused the ministry disaster. They have have set you back almost five years back. And if they are walking up, in fact, they use your block to start their buildings. And they say nothing can happen. While you are still here, you will hear that something has happened. While you are still here, you will hear that something has happened. While you are still here, you will hear that something has happened. While you are still here, you will hear that God has showed up. You will hear that heaven has showed up. What they did against you that made you shed tears, heaven will show up and they shall cry your cry. For the pain they have cost you, heaven will show up. For the pain they have cost you, heaven will show up. For the pain they have cost you, heaven will show up. For the heart they have cost you, heaven will show up. For the pain they cost you, heaven will show up. You don't serve a dead God. You serve a mighty God. He is the same yesterday. He is the same today. He is the same forever. When God says yes, no man can say no. When God lifts you up, no man can bring you down. God is on your side. Power is on your side. Glory is on your side. Favor is on your side. Somebody shout fire. This week, God will open strength doors for you. Amen. Are there people that will cause you problems? May you not meet them this week. Amen. Are there people that will show you favor? May you meet them this week. Amen. I decree that what man cannot do for you, God will do it. God will give you help from strange quarters. Amen. The testimonies that will happen in your life will become the debate in the society. Amen. You are heavily guarded. Amen. Those that are waiting to see you fall, they will wait in vain. Amen. Those that are waiting to see you expire, they will wait in vain. Amen. For every prayer you will pray this week, oh. I say amen to it. Amen. It's a great week for you. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.